Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. Now today, as you've may have noticed already, I have a better camera. Wow, new camera, big pog. Uh, so maybe my face cam quality will be a bit better so you can actually see me and not just a pixelated mess. But anyway, today I'm gonna introduce you guys to a couple of my community designs. So these have all been made on the Discord which you can find in the link in the description below. Um, so yeah, if you wanna design some cars and be featured in some of my videos, you can do that too in the Discord. Um, yeah, so I've picked these based off of like designs that fit my channel theme. So kind of try hardy, but also kind of flashy. So that's what we're going for today. Uh, and I'll be listing people and I'll be just showing off the cars. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you later and peace. Right. So our first design is one from one of my Discord people called Ender Decoder. He's also the great OEM cult leader. So if you've seen any memes of that, then uh, he's responsible for that. And uh, yeah, he submitted a very, very nice um, rose gold kind of octane. And then on the other side, we have like a golden octane. So I think uh, I picked this basically because I feel like this kind of shows off um, very well, like what the server's about and like kind of what our, or what I'm trying to build as well. So I think probably he'd want me to put uh, gray OEMs on this one. So <laughs> let's just do that. Yeah, and um, we're going to start off with a white octane for both sides. So that is pretty, pretty nice there. Now on uh, this side, we have an unpainted dune racer. And on this side, we also have an unpainted dune racer. So both of those you can make for pretty cheap because you don't need a painted dune racer for either designs, which is very, very nice. Um, then for the colors, we have a pearlescent matte on the blue side, which is like a dark uh, blue, which I think is kind of cool. And that's in pearlescent matte. And then we have an anodized peachy secondary color. So that's pretty nice uh, for our second paint there. Um, for the gold side, we have a dark uh, yellow. That's just what I'm going to call it. Uh, in anodized, then we have a carbon fiber as the secondary, which is pretty interesting because uh, the carbon fiber kind of gives it that shimmery effect, but not as much as glitter and stuff like that. So it's still very, very sensible, which is very nice. Um, and I do like this one a lot. For the boost, he didn't really give me a boost um, thing, so I just used sparkles. Uh, you can use it for both sides, or um, you can use kind of anything else if you really want to. For the wheels, I'm using great OEMs on this one because I think that he would want me to do that. <laughs> if not, you can use Cristiano's or any other black wheels for the blue side. And then for the orange side, we're using Daichi Oros, which are a legacy item. So if you got Rocket League for free, so basically, if you got off of Epic Games, you cannot get this item anymore. I'm very sorry. Um, but yeah, these are golden wheels that I think you base this car around, which also fit very, very nicely to the car. For the boost, I already went over that. Um, and for the trails, I think the best thing would be to just find something that fits. So for example, the friction would fit pretty well with both of them, or you can just do like a white trail that would fit both with them too. So yeah, there you go. That is our first design. And our next design is from Reist Killer, who actually you might have seen this car before because it was featured on someone else's YouTube channel. And I'm not going to say because you get no free self-promotion on my channel. But he did not give credit to this man. So I said, yes, I need to give credit to this man because I love this design a lot. I've been getting into like the multi-colored like lime, very bright octanes recently. So I thought this was a really cool match. And uh, yeah, so Reese Keller made this one. He's also a very active person in my community, so I appreciate that as well. And yeah, I think let's just go right through the car. It's very neon, gives me a very like uh, 80s kind of synthwave vibe, so that's pretty, pretty cool. And for this, we are using a Lime Octane, very bright, very cool. We are using a Sky Blue Obtruse, so that is the decal. We're using a Sky Blue Obtruse. Uh, if you don't have a Sky Blue one, you can also use like a Cobalt one. I think that would work okay as well, but then you just have to change some of the colors. Um, yeah, so all matte for this car because uh, it just works very well with the colors. Like we don't need fancy paint finishes to improve this because it's supposed to be simple. So that's what we're working with this. We're using the brightest purple. I always say bright because it's like the furthest on the, it's in the middle of the cool little color diagram. Then we're using the brightest pink. So it's like a neon pink. And then for the orange side, we're using a bright pink and a blue. You can also go for purple if you want. I think he actually did. I think I got the colors wrong. But hey, so uh, that is what we are using for this. Uh, for the wheels, we're using black wheels because I actually think this is a really cool choice because it blends in very, very well with the car and it makes the car more the highlight and not like the whole design. 
which sometimes looks really nice. If you do want to use a bright wheel with this, I recommend Lime Zombos because they match the lime and the sky blue. Or you can use any other color of bright wheel you really want or anything like that. But I do think that the black wheels make this design very, very nice. Now, for the boost, I've gone with the Lime Sparkles, A, because I think this boost is very cool, and B, because it was the only Lime boost I had, and so I just decided to use it. Uh, if you want to use, like, a Sky Blue standard, you can use that as well. Basically, anything bright would do this design justice. You can even use a pink and a purple if you really want to. Uh, for the trail, I went for a Sky Blue Friction, because I thought, hey, Lime and Sky Blue are the only two colors on the card that really remain in the two designs. I know they swap colors, but, you know... Um, so that's what I decided to go with. So a nice lime and sky blue to match the lime and sky blue painted items. And then just the nice colors to really round it out. So thank you very much for Reese Killer for that submission. And so that's also a very bright design that we have there. So, um, let's move on to the next one. And we have another Dune Racer design. I, I tried to limit it, okay, but my community loves this decal, so I can't help it really. Anyway, this next design comes from Sway, who is, um... Also, very active member of my server, so thank you very much for that. Uh, he came up with a nice Dune Racer design, which I thought was very funky. And it kind of matches the whole, like, Neon Fields update, so I thought that was very fitting as well. Um, so, yeah, let's just get into it. We have a white Octane, very nice. Also to match the wheels, which we'll get to later. Then we have a orange Dune Racer on the blue side, and we have an unpainted Dune Racer. Like this, there you go. Uh, on the orange side, which I find really, really cool because I like it always when people use orange. Uh, not orange. Well, yes, orange. But also unpainted Dune Racer because I think unpainted Dune Racer is a decal that goes under the rug, if you know what I mean. Because everybody wants the painted ones. Nobody wants the unpainted ones. So there we go. So that's one for all you people trying to get painted. But if you don't have one, this is a really cool design for it. Anyway, let's get to the colors. We have a green... Uh, so we have like a minty green for that. I think I got the color wrong. I'm, I wasn't really too sure because it was very, very dark in the thumbnail, uh, in the picture he sent me. But that's what's just what I'm using. We have everything matte uh, again, which is pretty, pretty cool. We have a sky blue as the secondary and the orange. And as you can see, sky blue, orange and green are all like in a nice little color relationship. So that is pretty, pretty well done there. And then we have just like a simple saffrony orange i call it like a yellowy orange like it's between orange and yellow so yellowy orange and we have a neon pink as the secondary once again which i thought was pretty cool and because he didn't just use titanium white octane for the card just to make it titanium white octane but he also used the 99 nissan skyline gtr r3 four wheels which are the wheels that you get from the fast and the furious uh, dlc pack so if you haven't got that sorry again if you don't have these wheels, you can go for another pair of white wheels. They look just as good. Or you can go for like dark wheels as well. Like that's also fine. So if you don't have those, you can also have alternatives as well. For the boost, I went just for standard because I thought it was pretty fitting for like the tryhardy nature of this car. So trying to make it very, very tryhardy there. And then for the trails, I went for light speed this time. I didn't want to go for friction all the time. So we have a light speed unpainted, which makes it kind of like sky blue. Uh, a bit green, I don't know, maybe I'm just colorblind, but it is kind of sky blue, so that fits well there. And then I have a pink painted light speed, and because the pink painted light speed is a bit darker, it fits very, very well to the secondary of this car. So there we go. That is our third design. I almost, I almost messed it, but I got it, I got it. <laughs> Let's move on to our next one. Right, for all of you tournament heads out there who are grinding tournaments, I know this may be an uncommon drop, but I think Martin, I hope that is his name. If not, then it's uh, Mr. TTN, but I don't think that's his name. But anyway, Martin uh, submitted a really cool design back in my designs uh, a few months ago, I think, or weeks ago, whatever. Um, and he did a really cool thing, which I think is pretty interesting. So he's Forest Green Serene Sakura, which is something I haven't really seen too much before. But because he used pink in the uh, secondary, I think it looks really, really nice. He did submit this with a white octane. I just got to say this first of all as a preference. So he did submit this with white octane, but I actually think it looks better without. So that's just my personal preference. Um, yeah, so this is what the car is all about. So we have a titanium white octane. You can also use pink for this because it fits very well with the um, like tree part of the car. So you can also use pink octane for this. You can also use unpainted octane for this. It's all... Fine. I'm just going to use pink just to show it off because I think it's a pretty underutilized octane. 
This is the Serene Sakura in Forest Green. So that is the uncommon tournament drop you can get. So if you're playing tournaments, you can get that. Through the colors, we're going through dark blue, which is like a dark like marine blue. I don't really know how to call it, but that is what we are rocking. We are rocking camo, which was also a reason why this design caught my eye because I love using camo as a primary because I think it looks really, really cool. We are using a pink secondary. So that's uh, just a normal light pink secondary with anodized. And then on the other side, we're using like a dark reddish kind of um, brown color. You can also use like a dark red if you want to like uh, one of these colors here. And we are using that with camo and we're using the same secondary on the orange side as well with a pink and an anodized. So that is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, for the wheels, we're using just black wheels again. He did submit this with black below chase. So that was pretty cool, I found. You can also use uh, other pink wheels if you like to do that. Try to match the colors a bit, you know, do all of that good stuff. You can also just use um, any black wheels you have or any wheels you prefer using. For the boost, I, were, uh, I picked a standard pink because I thought it fit the car very, very well, seeing as it's kind of pink. Uh, even if you do have a non-painted octane, this still looks pretty good. And I think it's just a really nice boost to have in general. If you don't want to use a pink standard, you can also just go for any neutral boost that you want. So just pick anything like that. For the uh, trail, I used a light speed in pink. You can also use a laser wave 3 in pink. You can basically use anything in pink or any one you prefer you can also use forest green if you really want to uh so if you have also like a forest green boost you can use a forest green trail as well or just anything that's neutral you can barely see this one but there you go now you can kind of see it so you can use that as well so thank you martin for that design a serene sakura and uh yeah so let's move on to the next one so our next design is from mez who is a very 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 active person like i feel like i said that better maybe i should stop saying it anyway he's also known as wide fluffles because he made a stretch image of me and now has his profile picture so uh thankful for that but anyway we have a really cool chameleon design uh, from him and this design was actually so cool. I actually stole it and used it myself. So that was pretty cool Anyway, let's get right on with the car So we have a sky blue octane if you do not have a sky blue octane You can also use cobalt. It's just as cool because that's what I used with my one. So uh, Yep, so you can have a sky blue octane with that. We have a chameleon black market decal. So the black market decal design Woo! Then we have a for the paint finishes We have a dark blue as the primary and then we have a like dark magenta almost as the secondary. So that's pretty interesting. I think he did it darker so that the sky blue octane would stand out more. So that's pretty, pretty cool. Then as on the orange side, we have a dark pink kind of thing for um, the primary. So that's pretty cool. And we have a dark blue for the secondary. So basically kind of color swapped, but uh, the orange team is just a bit brighter because orange team is usually where you have brighter colors. For the wheels, he did submit this with black daichis, which I thought was pretty cool. If you do not have those, what you can also do, you can also just use sky blue wheels or any um, like dark or Cristiano's or any other wheels you have. So that works too. For the boost, I decided to go for a sky blue boost because I thought that would match the octane pretty well. And then I picked a sky blue trail as well. So I just matched sky blue on sky blue. Uh, if you do not want these, you can also just go with something maybe like a bit more purpley because that matches the design as well or a bit more pink to match the pink on both sides or something cobalt that works too. So that's also fine. If you really want to spice up this design, just as a quick tip, you can also just use white octane, which works really well with it. But I do like having the blue on there because it does um, mix the colors very well and it's a nice frame. So that's what we're using for that. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. I also want to say a special shout out to Ren's Designs who did the thumbnail on this video. So you might have noticed it was a bit different from some of my other videos. If you liked this thumbnail, please leave a massive like on the video. Also, if you just leave like the video, you can also just leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't because I think like 97% of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed. So that's kind of a yikes, not gonna lie. Join the Discord, have fun with designing. And I'll see you guys later and peace.